This video is sponsored by ESR. Hi everyone, Tao here. It's Friday, TGIF. I'm about to leave for a weekend getaway, but, but before I do that, I gotta unbox this for you guys first. It's perfect timing too, because now I can put these cameras to the test while I'm on my trip. All right, I'm not going to ramble on too much about specs because as you guys already know, the S20 Ultra is as specced out as it's going to get for any smartphone at the moment. You excited? Because I am. Let's get started. First up, we got the S20 Ultra itself. I've played with the device already at the launch event, and if you're coming from anything other than a Galaxy Note device, this is going to take some time to get used to. We'll get back to the phone in a second. But also in the box, you'll get a USB-C super fast charging brick. The phone does come with a 5000 mAh battery, so I'm curious to see how good the battery life is. You'll also get a USB-C to USB-C cable and some super nice AKG branded USB-C wired headphones. And the final things in the box are some paperwork with the SIM tool tucked on the backside. The S20 lineup comes with an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner underneath the display. It looks like the scanner isn't any larger than the one on my Note 10 Plus in size. But just from initial testing, it does work really well. I'm going to stick with the pre-installed screen protector that comes on the phone to see how well it holds up. But the good news is that since the screen isn't as curved, it should be easy to replace once damaged. Speaking of damaged, today's video sponsor, ESR, wants to make sure your brand new phone stays protected. If you're a fan of clear cases, they offer a variety of options, like the Air Armor with its reinforced bumper for added drop protection, or their popular Mimic case, which features a tempered glass backing so you don't lose that premium feel. If you're looking for a little more functionality from your case, their metal kickstand is a personal favorite of mine. Super handy for video calls or just consuming content. The wallet armor is a new addition and features a card slot so you can ditch the wallet and have your driver's license plus credit card on you at all times. Check the description below for discount codes to these cases and more if you're interested. I do have a few other phones here, so let's do a quick size comparison. At 6.9 inches, it's got a bigger display than the Note 10 Plus. In terms of size, the S20 Ultra is definitely thicker, slightly taller, and a little less wide. If you can handle the Note 10 Plus, the S20 Ultra shouldn't be a problem. I actually think the Ultra feels more ergonomic to hold to. Here's what it looks like compared to the Pixel 4 XL. And here's the S20 Ultra side by side with the smaller iPhone 11 Pro. No doubt, it's a big phone. Something that really impressed me during my hands-on time with the device was the 120Hz refresh rate. Out the box, the phone is set to 60Hz, so you'll need to go into display settings to switch it to 120. It's one of those features that you have to experience for yourself to understand. Everything just feels silky smooth. Another thing to note is that the 120Hz refresh rate is only available on full HD resolution. If you up your resolution to Quad HD, it disables the higher refresh rate. Sort of sucks, but there are rumors Samsung might push out an update in the future to enable it. Fingers crossed. Samsung always has the best displays, and this one is no different. It's essentially all screen, with the exception of the Infinity O Keto for the selfie camera. One of the reasons why you'd opt for the S20 Ultra instead of the S20 and S20 Plus is the 40 megapixel front facing camera. That's pretty insane. The Pixel 4 XL has been my go-to for taking selfies. So let's see if this camera on the S20 Ultra can top that. Holy, oh my gosh. You can seriously see every single blemish and pour on my skin. That's insane. Okay, let's give the iPhone and the Pixel a chance. 
I'll throw them on the screen right now. Which one do you like the best? Something new that I noticed is this selfie tone feature in the camera settings. It basically lets you preset a cooler or warmer temperature for your selfies. This is a good way to make sure everyone is happy. Yeah, so that's a really nice touch and a completely new feature. There's just so much to get into with this device, but my Uber is almost here, so I gotta wrap this up. I'm definitely going to be covering this phone in a lot more detail, so definitely hit the sub button and uh, support your girl. Also, shoutouts to Samsung Canada for sending me this review unit. I did pre-order my own S20 Ultra, but I do appreciate the love. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.